Hey everybody, so I know that we're having some issues with iReady and I thought that I would make a quick video just to show you, give you some tips. So if you're using one of the Macs that we have in the school, the old desktops, they're too old to access iReady because they're on about 10.7 or so. You need to make sure that you're on at least 10.13. So the MacBook Airs that we have, those work fine. And if you want to update any Mac, you go to Apple, top left corner, software update, and then you can update it. My recommendation on the MacBook Airs is that you update to Catalina, which is 10.15.7. On the iPads, what we want to do is click on the iReady app. If the iReady app is there, it will work. In addition to that, just in general, you can click on settings, you can click on about, and you can see the version right there is 14.0.1. Settings, software update, and update to the latest version, which is 14.2, which is a pretty quick download. You just click on download and install. This should not be necessary because even the oldest iPads that I'm seeing are updated enough. As long as they have the iReady icon, it will work. So the takeaway from this is if you're using an old iMac like this and it's not at least 10.13, it will not work. So you click on Apple, about this Mac, and you can see the version right there. If you're using a MacBook Air, you can go there, Apple, software update, and make sure you update to at least 10.13. The latest version is 10.15.7. And on the iPad, you want to click the app. If for some reason they do not have the iReady app, they must make sure the iPad is plugged in and that is connected to the internet and the city slowly rolls out updates. So if they do not have the iReady icon, it just means that the iPad needs to get an update. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna click on settings and you can see that this download is just about done. I started it about three-ish minutes ago. So very quick update. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful.